In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate national disposable income from national income. National disposable income is the total income of the government, total income of the economy that is used, that is used for consumption and savings. The total income that is used for consumption and savings. In the national income which you have calculated by any of the three methods, you have to add net indirect taxes. Why net indirect taxes? Because net indirect taxes are the earnings of government and that earning also can be used for consumption and saving by the economy. So that is the earning of government that has to be added into the national income. This is going to give you NNP MP. Once you add Net indirect taxes to the factor cost, to factor cost that is going to give you market price. So you get NNP MP. And after getting NNP MP, one more thing that you need to add is other current transfers from rest of the world. When we receive something of money value or economic value from some other country without paying them back with anything, that is called current transfer. For example, some gifts which we receive from other country or some help. So if we have received any current transfer from rest of the world, that is to be added into our national, um, in, that is to be added to our NNP MP. That is going to give us national disposable income. And this will be the final income which will be used for consumption and saving. This is the maximum amount of goods and services that the economy has at its disposal okay now we'll solve one numerical example for this and we'll calculate the national disposable income from the following data okay so this is the data given to us since we have wages and salaries social security contributions rent interest profit that means we are supposed to calculate this by income method okay so first of all we are going to calculate ndpfc ndpfc is equal to what all is given to us let us write it down we will add into this wages and salaries plus social security contributions social security contributions plus rent plus sorry, plus interest I told you while explaining income method that this corporate tax corporation tax undistributed profit and dividends these three together are the component of profit okay so you have to add all these three together and that is going to be our profit so this is going to be how much wages and salaries is 1000 social security contributions is 100 rent is 300 profit is plus 50 um, 50 plus 60 plus 200 and interest is 400 NDPFC will be rupees 2110 crores in this question we are supposed to calculate NNP MP and gross national disposable income NNP MP will be NDPFC we have changed from DP to NP that means you have to add net factor income from abroad and you have to change from factor cost to market price that means you have to add net indirect taxes this will be 2110 plus net factor income from abroad net factor income from abroad is minus 20 minus 20 plus 
net indirect tax is 80. So this will be rupees 2170 crores. National disposable income. The formula of national disposable income, if you remember, is NNP FC plus net indirect taxes plus other current transfers from rest of the world. NNPFC plus net indirect taxes will give us NNPMP. We have already calculated NNPMP, right? Plus net current transfers from abroad is minus 10. NNPMP that is 2170 crores that we have calculated. 2170 plus minus 10 that is rupees 2160 crores, right? We have got our national disposable income. What are we asked in the question? Gross national disposable income. To make it gross, we have to add depreciation. If we add depreciation into it, we get gross. So gross national disposable income will be national disposable income plus depreciation, which is 2160. Let us see how much is the depreciation. Mm, depreciation is consumption of fixed capital. Okay, consumption of fixed capital is nothing but depreciation, which is 120. So 2160 plus 120. This is going to be rupees 2280 crores.